Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We meet again for lesson 21, the last lesson of chapter 4, predictable. I am Latifah Momano. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe and explain the acid-based behavior of oxides of elements in period 3. The oxides of predictable elements can be divided into three parts, basic oxide, amphoteric, and acidic. For period 3 elements, sodium and magnesium are basic oxides, aluminium is amphoteric oxide, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur and chlorine are acidic oxides. We will not discuss about argon because argon does not react with any acids or bases. Argon also does not react with water except it dissolves slightly to the extent of about 33.6 cm3 per kilogram at 20 degrees Celsius or 293.15 Kelvin. The properties of the oxides can be explained by using the hydrolysis reaction equation, which is the reaction of the oxides with water, and the neutralization reaction equation depending on the type of oxides. Magnesium hydroxide is one of the examples of basic oxide which is used to make toothpaste. Sodium reacts with oxygen to form basic oxide with formula Na2O. To write the hydrolysis equation, we need to react the oxide of sodium with water. So the equation for the hydrolysis will be Na2O plus H2O produce 2 NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide. For the neutralization reaction, because sodium oxide is a basic oxide, it can react with acid, any acid, for example HCl or H2SO4, to produce Na plus and H2O. Next, magnesium burns in oxygen to form basic oxide MgO. Magnesium oxide reacts with water to form magnesium hydroxide. The neutralization reaction is uh, occur when Magnesium oxide, which is a basic oxide, reacts with acid H to form Mg2 and water. The ruby is known as corundum, the crystal structure of which consists of aluminium oxide. Aluminium oxide is one of the examples of amphoteric oxide. So this is the hardest stone after uncut diamond. Aluminium forms amphoteric oxide, which is the oxide that can react with either an acid or a base. Aluminium is insoluble in water, so no hydrolysis equation can be written. For the neutralization equation, when aluminium oxide Al2O3 reacts as a base, it can react with H to form Al3 ion plus water. And when the aluminium oxide reacts as an acid, it can react with OH- to form AlO2-, which is aluminium ion, plus with water. Most soft drinks contain phosphoric acid, which is one of the acidic oxides. It reduces the calcium in bones and softens your bones. Actually, they make them weak and brittle. Silicon burns in oxygen to form acidic oxides, SiO2. There is no hydrolysis reaction of silicon dioxide with water because silicon dioxide is insoluble in water. For the neutralization reaction, silicon dioxide reacts as acidic oxide that reacts with OH- to form SiO3-2- or silicate ion and water. Phosphorus burns in oxygen to form two types of oxides. Phosphorus trioxide, P4O6, or phosphorus pentoxide, P4O10. The hydrolysis of phosphorus pentoxide, P4O10, with water produces H3PO4, which is called phosphoric acid. And the neutralization of 
phosphorus pentoxide with OH- produces PO4-3- phosphate ion with water molecule. Sulfur burns in oxygen to form two types of oxide. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, or sulfur trioxide, SO3. The hydrolysis of sulfur, sulfur trioxide with water produces sulfuric acid, H2SO4, while the neutralization of sulfur trioxide with OH- produces sulfate ion, SO4-2- and water molecule. Chlorine burns in oxygen to form three types of oxide. First one is Cl2O, dichlorine monoxide. Second, ClO2, chlorine dioxide. And lastly, Cl2O7, dichlorine heptoxide. The hydrolysis of dichlorine heptoxide, Cl2O7 with water, produces perchloric acid, HClO4 while the neutralization of dichlorine heptoxide with OH- produces chlorate ion ClO4- with water. So we have reached the end of the lesson 21 for chapter 4, predictable, okay, which we have described the periodicity of elements across period 3 and down group 1 and 17, for the following physical properties, metallic character, melting point, and boiling point. And lastly, we have learned how to describe and explain the acid-base behavior of oxides of elements in period 3. That's all for this lesson. See you next time. Thank you.